Apparently, hot call. We got a report of a stolen vehicle that's uh, heading eastbound here on the east side. Uh, driving recklessly. Is it Georgia? No, it's a Minnesota plate. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We got it. <laughs> we got it. Westbound Phelan from Payne. It doesn't look brown, does it? It's, it's kind of a funky color. Uh, let's verify the plate. Tell them we're... Directly behind it now, no blockers. Coming up to Cayuga. We're going to confirm the plate here, but this has got to be it. It's a Georgia plate, brand new Bronco. Charlie William David 5799. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. Yep, this is going to be it. Currently looking like we're going to be continuing on Phelan through Cayuga. Coming up to Olive. Approaching Olive, driving normal speeds. All right, backseaters. Well, we got an occupied stolen directly in front of us right now. We're going to be coordinating with our partners to try and get some resources with us here to try and conduct a bit. At Mississippi, going underneath 35. Until he cuts out a second. Yeah. K352 Metro. K352. Sitting at a red light at Lower Ant. Looks like he's going to be continuing westbound. Continuing westbound, still normal rate of speed. On what? Coming up to Jackson. Approaching Jackson on Mississippi. This is Penn now. Turn into Pennsylvania. Sorry, Pennsylvania. We're giving it some room. Rice, still traveling at normal speed. Rice at one. Rice at one. I'm almost at See if we can get sticks out in front. Flight is not available. Not available. Northbound Rice. Shoot. Northbound Rice from Penn. Catching a stale red at Sycamore. A firm. Looks like occupied multiple times. I can see someone in the back seat. Looks like it's going to be occupied multiple times. We got someone in the back seat. Yeah, I just had a, saw a head bob a little bit in the front passenger seat. Is that cars on the shoulder? Yep. Continuing northbound at Winnipeg. Shoot 
Continue following, they're not on to us and uh, they're not fleeing or anything yet like that, so we'll carry on to make sure we can get try and get three cars on in on this vid. I'm about to turn south on rice from Maryland. You want me to do sticks if I can? Westbound, west. westbound front from rice, westbound front. for a little bit they got to get on to us here sooner or later they're gonna be turning northbound on Woodbridge kill if you get in the area and you want to take over the eye they're gonna be westbound hatch westbound hatch from Woodbridge so we don't get burned here it looks like their uh, driver's side rear view mirror is smashed out so that's kind of helping us out a little bit I don't want to turn right yeah we don't Firm. Continuing westbound, Shh. coming up to Galtier. Ah. Through Galtier, through Galtier. Westbound hatch through Galtier. You're still driving normal. Still driving normal. Stopping for stop signs. Going to be northbound, one block west. Northbound Matilda on from hatch. Westbound Lawson. Is this Steve behind us? Yes. You want him to take the eyes? Yeah, I like that. Steve is at you behind us. We might have you take the eyeball since we've been behind him for a while here. It's right in front of us, still westbound. Ah. It's signaling to go south along with Northbound? Or? Southbound. Somebody call it out three. Where are they? Westbound. He was pointing westbound. Westbound. Someone gotta call it. Where are we at? Who's got eyes on? Southbound and to westbound Simon from Dale. We got good sticks on a stolen Ford Bronco. Georgia plate, Charlie William David 5799. There, it's up there, I got it. Westbound Jessamine from Como. I don't have it, but it crossed here. Lost eyes, 2008 or 2007 or less, wants to really be behind them. We're going to be checking the area. Copy, lost sight of the vehicle, checking the area. Bronco? Dark Ford Bronco. It's a very new 2023 Ford Bronco. It looks a lot like a Jeep. Westbound, <laughs> 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 
Westbound front of the light. Somewhere with 2750, him. I have it. Somewhere with him. To the Speedway parking lot. Five nines with him. Opposite lane of traffic. Southbound in the northbound lane of Lexington. Southbound northbound lane. It's corrected, it's now cell phone, cell phone left. Westbound through Snelling on the five. Got the sidewalk here. Sidewalk here. There you go. Still westbound through Fry. Should clear north or south because I. Clear north. Heads up, heads up, heads up. I gotcha. Car blow by here? No. Last hit. We're at Fairview. We haven't seen it. Had to go north or south. It's smoking, so. You guys see a car blow by here? Doesn't sound like they went north. They like they went south on Fairview.
from the right, got one coming from the left. in uni, north of uni. Happy 8th in uni. 5th What? Happy 8th and 5th. How many? Whoever was behind us, hold the east perimeter, make sure they don't double back. We're all on 7th. We should have a good perimeter on the west side. We got them contained in the square block here. They gotta be in the apartment complex. 
go back to the car with K9 and get ready for a trip. 2755, I'm on the vehicle. Let's hold down west, make yeah. sure. Chance Minneapolis is around this dispatch. They've been advised, they said they were going to air it, they didn't say that they were sending help, I'll confirm. The orange or red hoodie, and one with a uh, uh, white hoodie. All right, backseaters, we are in Minneapolis. Just out, hi. What's happening? Uh, stolen car, kids fled from it. North side or south side? Um, you obviously saw the whole thing. They have now abandoned the car and fled on foot. What's up, man? I just seen you see any kids run past? Two orange hoodies, black males. Well, it would have been two heading towards you. You guys would have saw them, so. Yeah, no, thank you. Just north of Florence, boss. So we're just trying to see if these kids made it uh, this far. Sounds like we got them contained in this uh, square block. So it was a stolen uh, Bronco. Deputy Pat Scott got good sticks. And uh, a pursuit ensued. And we got canine tracking. My partner Kyle Williams, he went to go help uh, act as cover. Kill was right on them. They never made it. They had three squads. They never broke this perimeter. So, yeah, kill was right around it by the time they got around. So, and then I we talked to a few people outside. They're saying they found nobody. So, Ugh. good. That was the big man, sheriff checking in. As always, he's everywhere. So as we said, uh, one of our partners was on the car pretty fast. Um, he got uh, to the other street where they were running to, said they never broke that street. So the hope is that we have them contained. Yeah, man. Okay. Uh, so we're, we're looking for two kids who ran from the stolen and we got a canine out. Which, where do you live? Uh, right in here? Just with the dog out, I'd, I'd rather you not. I just hate for the food uh, Yeah. Um, once we're starting to clear, I'll try to keep an eye out for you. But yeah, they're, they're tracking this way, so I'd pay for something. Okay. All right, man. Appreciate it. Sorry. So unfortunately, when these things happen, we got perimeter can make it uh, kind of a pain for residents who uh, may live in the area or in the complex. As you can see, he just walked by with a beautiful dog. We got a canine out. Hate for the two hounds to... Something happened. You never know. The canine's hot on a track, so try to keep him free of distractions. So He understood. He was very polite, and we appreciate that. So... I haven't heard any updates on the tracks yet. I'll try to keep my radio up so you guys can hear it. And I do apologize about the camera falling during that. It, was, uh, it got a little bumpy. Okay, I'll be arriving in a second. Where are we needing spots on the perimeter? 
How's it going? That's a T-Mobile 762. Good. I was just heading home. Am I maybe not able to get in there? I would maybe wait. Right? Or you live right in here? I live on, on 4th, just the okay. next street over. I would check down with them, but I know... So we have a dog out track and there people bailed from a stolen. So I don't exactly know where in this little block they are yet. So they're tracking from that street over this way. So I would just stay north of this street and maybe talk to the officers on the other... Okay. Perimeter, right? Yeah, man. Just see if I could run in and grab my stuff. Yeah, see, I see what see what that side looks like. Oh, okay. Well, that's alright, man. Can you hold the air until we can confirm if we have a rubber or not? Okay. Holding the air for his white bear. And obviously, we're near the U of M campus, so this is a lot of young people coming and going from this area so they got they got classes and things to get to so hopefully we can uh, resolve this quick yeah we, we're setting up for a minute if you can keep us updated if you good how are you so you just heard that they contact him with two Get the squad car back there with the back sheet. Hold the perimeter until they confirm in custody. 2752. We got these first two in custody, but we got we should have one more outstanding. Have you a description of the others? Copy on St. Paul, Maine. Twenty seven fifty one. I only saw two routes from the vehicle. So this, ve this vehicle was a stolen out of Minneapolis. It's been stolen for about a month. I just had an update from the... They said they have no further information about what's going on inside. We have two... It sounds like they're taking them into custody. We're going to hold our spot till we confirm. We're looking for any more. But uh, Joe Kill, we ended up taking lead over once we lost them. Uh, confirms he only saw two foot bales. So I think we're pretty good and probably have who we're looking for. Negative. Does anyone have a description of any other suspects from that vehicle? Negative. Sir? Under Sheriff? Say hi to the back seaters for me. <laughs> You're running. <laughs> That's a uh, patrol under Sheriff Romaker. As you can tell, we have a very active admin team, so. Alright. We have two in custody. You don't have to look if there is a third. We'll be bailed out earlier. Thank you, everyone, for your assistance. We will shut the perimeter down. Thank you. We are breaking her down. My brakes are moaning. Dismissed copies uh, shutting down the perimeter, and we'll remove the patch when they'll attack one. 1330. I'll pull you up, and you guys can see the car. Uh, that little golf, golf. Oh, my car is not sound good. There's the car. I'm going to hop out real quick, guys.
All right, backseater, sorry to leave you hanging there for a little bit. Just had some some business to conduct. There's the stolen Bronco right there. Fortunately, can't get a good view of the shredded back left tire that led to this. Uh, the one and only Pat Scott was able to get stop sticks on the vehicle before we even lit the vehicle up. So that was extremely helpful. And that's why we, that's a big reason of why we continued this was because we knew that uh, they're inevitably gonna have to stop and foot bail with the shredded tire. So that's why we carried on and uh, sticking with them through the U of M campus and whatnot. Um, we got two in custody. We suspect there might've been a third, but we're not entirely sure. But either way, we did a, uh, a good search of the area. He's not still currently here, so we're gonna go ahead and let that go. But we did get two in custody and both of them are very, very well known auto thieves to us. We've dealt with them quite a bit in the past and and uh, yeah, they're no stranger to us. So uh, we're just gonna have to get this, this Bronco towed and back to its rightful owner. I don't know, it's not in very good shape, unfortunately, anymore, but maybe they can restore it back to its, its uh, it's old ways, but for now we're going to be hanging out, waiting for the tow. Hopefully we can delegate that out to someone else so we don't have to sit here and, and bore you guys further. Oh. Alright, back on the road again. We'll see how my brakes sound. I smell a lot of... Uh, Brake fluid, transmission fluid. Hey now, hey now. Oh, I'm not, good thing, I'm good not thing we had the Durango. She's a hot one. Ooh, ooh, they're grinding. I have to swap out to the other squad. Let's peel her out on the way back to Time the is it. land. All right, we're an hour in. Yeah. Start was fast. Let's see. I don't think we're gonna be able to live up to the beginning portion of our broadcast. Oh. But Good job to Kyle for calling that out. Great job. Gotta love it. And a bonus backseaters. I know you had to sit there and kind of be left hanging for a little bit, but it's less time that we have to talk about ourselves. So. Yeah, I don't have to, yeah. <laughs> Bore you with our lives and whatnot. Ooh. So, uh, if it will uh, make your day, uh, the two individuals were well known to the CAT team. Well known. So it's it's sad that we got to keep dealing with the repeat uh, juveniles, but uh, yeah, over and over and this over. car has been stolen for about a month. Based off the looks of it, this car is listed as brown. Yeah. And it it, it appears it could potentially be wrapped. We don't know. We'll uh, we'll dig into it at our tow lot. Oh. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right, makes sense. I've never met him in person. No. So I didn't recognize him, but. No. So uh, we are going to go back to our side of the river where we're much more comfortable. Yeah, you're going to get a little look see here at the city of Minneapolis, which is not a common thing on our broadcast of Live on Patrol, a little U of M campus action. Ooh. That does not sound or feel good. We got. I think they're just hot. Yeah. Just go with that. You're hot. Uh, great job by Deputy Joe Kill reacquiring it after we kind of. No side streets, you gotta clear intersections, you gotta do your due diligence. We wanna catch bad guys, we also uh, gotta look out for people. So it's a lot easier being the bad guy because uh, for some reason they have no fear. It's incredible the way they drive through those neighborhoods, intersections, small, small side streets, pedestrians all around. Absolutely just blow intersections and crosswalks. It's nothing short of a miracle that more people haven't been killed by these these kids and overall thieves, truthfully, driving around in the stolen vehicles. Absolutely. 